There's my foot for scale. Huge anchor windlass. There's so much space on this boat. Don't fall down though. What a nice galley. This is amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. What's up guys? I am really excited to bring you this tour today because this yacht is truly incredible. It's a totally redone 70 foot American tugboat from 1952. I'm not gonna say any more about it right now, you're just gonna have to see for yourself how awesome this boat is. But real quick, remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. It certainly helps us a lot, so thank you in advance, and without further ado, let's get to the tour. Alright guys, going ahead and stepping aboard here. Gotta kinda step up and down. The first thing I notice on this boat is so far, it's just clean. I mean, fresh paint, I don't see any rust. Got this grate right here. Okay, so below that grate is the massive steering mechanism right there. Very, very good access. So forward of this aft deck, I love this aft deck, it's huge. Lots of space for activities. That's where you're gonna enter the interior of the boat, obviously. We're gonna go forward first, and then we'll go inside. Side decks are nice and wide. Look at, <laughs> look at that. I mean, talk about heavy duty right there. This is a legitimate tugboat. This thing can tow container ships and cruise ships. So everything on this boat is going to be massive like this and heavy duty. Going forward, we got another door inside. Just nice and safe. Beautiful, safe side decks. And then on the fore deck, we have a huge, huge, I mean, there's my foot for scale, huge anchor windlass. We've got chain going to steel cable, massive anchor on the front. We've got a watertight hatch right here. And a bow storage locker. Again, very, very clean, especially for a bow storage locker like this. Looking aft, there's the wheelhouse right there. That's gonna be an awesome place. I can't wait to get up there. More bits on the starboard side here. Nice, safe side decks. And rails all the way down. Potable water. Electrical. And then lastly, we have this right here which is definitely has some heft to it let's take a look below deck and down below has that new boat smell even though this is not a new boat there's definitely been a lot of love and care that has gone into this boat and you can tell look at how clean it is this is a steel boat guys look at how clean the hull is Guys, I just wanted to flip the camera around and show you, this is a pretty big cargo hold down here and it goes back farther, obviously. So we just came out from under there. We do have an area over here with a sink. That's pretty nice. And we're gonna go ahead and go up this ladder and check out what's up here. All right, guys. This is awesome. Got a lift for a dinghy. Thing. He's gonna sit right there. Let's 
tons of space for activities. We've got a household style air conditioner right here and a large commercial life raft as well. We're gonna walk all the way around the wheelhouse right now. industrial area but what a good view this could be if you were in the Caribbean somewhere going aft you've got doors on each side going into the wheelhouse but we're gonna go ahead and enter that from inside in a little bit and then we've got stairs and another ladder going onto the top of the wheelhouse let's go ahead and give that a quick look as well up here we've got a couple more AC units a new Garmin radar right there some VHF and SSB antennas as well. And then your big navigation lights. There's so much space on this boat. Don't fall down though, because that would be, that would get you hurt. All right guys, we are now going back to the aft deck. This staircase is a little easier to go up and down. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys inside. Let's take a look. First, before we get to the interior of this boat, I wanna thank Policy Genius for sponsoring this video. Now, sponsorships like this help keep the content flowing, so I wanna thank you guys as well for understanding. We need to talk about an important step in any responsible financial plan, and that is life insurance. Simply put, if someone relies on you for your financial support, whether it be a spouse, a child, an aging parent, or even a business partner, you need life insurance. It can give you the peace of mind that if something were to happen to you, your loved ones would have that financial cushion. They can use it for rent, mortgage payments, loans, education costs, and or you know everyday expenses. Now even if you have insurance through your job, that's probably not enough as most people's insurance through their employers don't cover even a tenth of what is actually needed by their family. Also, typically policies get more expensive with age, so getting insurance sooner is better. This is where Policy Genius comes in. It's your one-stop shop to find and buy the insurance you need. You can click the link in the description or head to policygenius.com slash learning the lines and answer a few questions. In minutes, you can compare personalized quotes from top companies to find your lowest price. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. Now, their team of licensed experts will help you understand your options and apply for the policy you choose. The Policy Genius team works for you, not the insurance company, so you can trust them to offer unbiased help and advocate for you at every step until you're covered. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me. Now, let's get back to the boat tour. Stepping inside. You immediately step into the galley. That is gonna be what's in the aftmost section. And what a nice galley. Beautiful household size everything. You have this pot holder that's been bolted onto that range right there. Big household sink. Love it. Turning to starboard. Again, with the household size, everything, we've got a big fridge and freezer and obviously microwave and toaster oven. So this boat can definitely run all of these appliances and you'll see why in a little bit. Again, throughout this boat, just super clean, easy to clean surfaces, durable. This boat is definitely meant to be a platform for adventure. To starboard right here, this is going to be our head, full head with a separate shower. And this is a big, big head. Again, household size everything. You're really not giving up much to be living on this boat. Turning to port, we've got an entryway door right there. Storage underneath the stairs. It looks like there's probably a technical compartment behind that. And our thermostat for our air conditioners. To starboard, there's a staircase down. That's where the cabins are gonna be. We're gonna go down there in a little bit, but immediately forward of that. This is our main salon, living area. Nice big space. Got some cabinets on the starboard side there. Some comfy seats. TV. 
our main settee and salon table, nice little eating area. This is definitely a cozy little spot to hang out. Let's go ahead and go down this staircase now. Check out what kind of cabins this boat has. So immediately when you come down, this is kind of a laundry area it looks like. Got a washer and dryer, stackable. Very nice. I think there's storage back here. Yep, nice big storage cabinets right there as well as right here. And then we've got two cabins, I believe. So to port right here, we've got one cabin. And then a big queen size bed, I believe, right here. It smells so good in here. It smells like brand new interior yacht finishing. I mean, you can tell these are, these are brand new. All this woodwork. All right, going out that cabin into the forward cabin. Immediately we've got clothes storage again. But again, island berth, beautiful, beautiful cabin. And then up here there is an escape hatch up to the deck so that you can get out in an emergency, obviously. All right, guys, going aft. We're going back up these stairs. Back into the main salon area, aft again. And then we're gonna go up into my favorite part of the boat, up into the wheelhouse. This is amazing. I, I love this. <laughs> Captain's chair, there's no wheel in the wheelhouse. That's interesting. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm sure it works. I guess this is the wheel. <laughs> Single cat diesel. Brand new instruments. VHF, SSB, Garmin chart plotter. And I love this captain's chair. I, I just, I have to sit in it. What do you guys think? I think I could do this. I'm definitely a sailor, but this is really cool as well. I can only imagine just, you know, going somewhere, traveling somewhere in this boat, being perfectly protected by this wheelhouse and just looking out those windows at whatever's coming and just knowing that most likely I'm gonna be okay and comfortable. So I like it a lot. And look at that view from the captain's chair. Again, don't picture a boatyard, <laughs> picture Caribbean islands. I love it. Looking aft. We've got those two doors that go out onto the upper deck and then a seating area for anyone else that wants to be up here with the captain, skipper, whatever. Or also a good place to hang out when you're on watch, going down. All right guys, so that is my favorite part of the boat. We're about to go check out my second favorite part of the boat. Let's go take a look. All right guys, so that was awesome. We just came out of the interior area and directly to starboard of that is gonna be the engine room. At least the entry for that. So open that up. We got this little area here. Close that door. And then you go down. The engine room is gonna be below the main living area. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wow, again, just immaculate. This is probably the most immaculate engine room that I've seen on a steel boat. We've got a huge cat diesel. This is a brand new engine on this boat, on this tug, and access could not be better. I mean, you can fully access everything around here. I've got standing headroom pretty much throughout this whole space, and I'm 5'10" think you'd be even okay up into six feet and a little bit more. You've got your hydraulics right here. 
water heater, one generator, two generators, his and hers generators. And again, just access, I do have to, I do have to duck here. Then we've got kind of a tool equipment area, batteries right there. Do you see any rust? I don't see rust. Immaculate. Beautiful. All right, guys, again, I just want to put myself in the shot here to give you a sense of scale. I'm about 5'10". I've got more than enough headroom in here. You know, I do have to be, you know, wary of some stuff like that. But for the most part, I've got headroom. I could stand up completely straight. And this is just a huge, huge engine room. And there's lots of space for more stuff if you want to put more stuff in here. But what else do you need? I mean, for me, I'd probably put some solar power on this boat, but that's going to go up there. There's just going to be some batteries and charge controllers down here. Aside from that, this is awesome. I don't think I don't think I want to leave. I live on this boat now. That's how it works, right? I'm squatting. All right, guys, it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern. I'm starting in the forward cabin right now in the very most bow portion of the interior of this boat. Up here in the bow, we do have some storage here. Nice big double cabin. I believe a queen size berth right there. Clothes storage. Got kind of a laundry room here. More storage around. Got another cabin right here with a desk. Big wardrobe. Going back up the stairs. Looking forward. Got a nice little living area here. Eating area. Looking aft. Door into this area as well as some storage underneath the stairs. The full head. This boat does only have a single head from what it looks like, but I like that. Simple, easy to maintain. No need for more than one head and shower. Going aft, we've got our beautiful galley, tons of storage, household sized everything. Matter of fact, I lived in apartments that have had smaller kitchens than this galley. Going back up into the wheelhouse. My favorite part of the boat. Absolutely love it. Captain's chair. Another seating area slash eating area. Going back down and out the back. That's it guys. Beautiful boat. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that boat as much as I did. I certainly think that I might have fallen in love with a power boat back there. I pretty much loved everything about that boat. You know, starting with the steel build, just how well built that boat is. Also, just the general condition. Basically everything inside of it is new. It's got a brand new 600 horsepower cat diesel in the engine room. It's got two generators. I mean, the only thing I would change about that boat is to add some solar panels. But that engine room was absolutely the stuff of dreams. I mean, I don't think I have seen a better engine room in, you know, yachts that are bigger or smaller, really. I mean, that engine room was just absolutely amazing. Now that wheelhouse, aside from the fact that it didn't have a wheel, <laughs> was absolutely perfect. I, I loved it. And I'm sure you could put a wheel in if you really want, you know, that experience. Anyway, this is a big, tough, go anywhere tugboat trawler style powerboat i mean it's going to be efficient it's going to be tough you can do 
pretty much anything with it and it's got a lot of accommodation it's pretty much brand new throughout the entire boat i mean you're not sacrificing really any comfort to live aboard this boat and to cruise so I think that this is just an absolutely phenomenal, unique boat. It's a great opportunity for someone. It's priced very, very well. I mean, the value in this boat is extreme. I mean, yeah, it's just the value is, is amazing. So if you guys are interested in this boat, the current asking price as well as the broker contact information is going to be in the description below. I think you guys will find that the price of this boat is pretty phenomenal as well. If it wasn't for a fact that, you know, I think we're sailors at heart, Randy and I would already be trying to purchase this boat. Anyway guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire and let it go